Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn about the validation in Nest.js. <coughs> Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. <coughs> in the Nest.js, validation is handled through the use of the pipes and the decorators in a combination with the libraries like the class validator and the class transformer. This allow you to perform data validation based on the defined rules within your DTOs, data transfer objects or entities, right? Install the necessary packages. This you have to install class validator and the class transformer. Then we have to create a DTO. So here we have to create the DTO. So already I have created that one. So DTO, kya DTO. <coughs> so here we have mentioned that it should be a string. It should not be empty, okay? And the second one should be color. It should be string if you are adding, but it is not optional. It's optional, right? Okay, so you can avoid it also. So in this example, the create DTO defines the validation rule, the class validator decorators, the name field is required and must be not empty. While the color field is optional, but if provided must be a string. Okay. <coughs> then there is a one thing use validation pipe apply the validation pipe globally or the locally in your application to enable automatically validation based on the defined details so if you go globally then you have to import this in your main.ts file <coughs> like this validation and app.use global pipes this one okay and if you want to go with the specific to controller method so you have to use this one validation pipe and your DTO and a, but wherever you are trying to use then new validation pipe then create body create DTO okay we have already do that so in the CAD controller <coughs> here you can see we have a create DTO that is from this one <coughs> and we are using the use pipe and the validation pipes from the nest.js comment okay so here we are using use pipes new validation pipe create DTO so whenever we try to send the name in the body to create the cats, right? So it first it validate. Okay. So let's have a look on that one. Save this. Go to the terminal. <coughs> run this. Okay. So let's go to the postman and let's try to this one. Okay. So here you can see the name should not be empty. Okay. Bad request 400. Okay. So because... We have we have already validated that the name should not be empty. If I add something over here and then send, I create it successfully, right? So this is the how the validation work like this in the next years. Okay. <clears throat> next part. So this is basically the locally and the globally how you can add handling validation results. If validation fails, Nest.js will automatically handle it and throw a bad ex request exceptions with details about the validation errors. You can customize the error messages by using the this one. If it is, is a string, the custom error messages, you can send it over here. Okay. So here we have, let's try this one. We have a cat DTO, right? So let's add is a string. What happens over here? Okay, custom error message like um, cat name is required. Cat name is required. Okay, if I want to show that one. Okay, let's try to save this. Okay, let's go to the postman and let's empty this one. Let's try to send. It's not updated. <coughs> name should name should not be empty. Bad request. So what we have missed over here. Okay, I will check that uh, like how we can customize the custom messages in our validation part in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.